guys, my voice. I know. Dude, I'm supposed to record all day and film all day. My voice sounds like this, and it's very important. It's not good. My bestie. So much honey. My house is getting clean today, so we're down to a knife. Responsibility. Dana's here, my voice is gone, so like a lot of this is gonna be voiceover. But um, I'm manifesting in 2022 that I'm gonna be in a country music video and one of my country star friends is gonna put my name in a song. It's easy, Ken's. It makes sense. It would be it's fun. Ken's, Ken's. Ken's, Ken's, <laughs> Ken's. There's like so many things you can do. I'm not, honestly, any of them work, so. Anyways, we're at Highland Park Village, we're filming a video, so. I've been drinking hot drinks and now I'm drinking a cold drink and that's just not a good idea. My voice will get better throughout the video, I promise. We just left Anthropology. This is probably the biggest anthro bag I've ever received. By received, I mean paid for. So, yeah. Just so sad. The Taylor Swift. <laughs> We're back to so many packages and just things, my sister's gift, more stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 320. I got this like throat spray. Let me show it to you. My voice is slowly coming back. I'm about to go on vocal rest for the rest of the day, but I wanted my brothers to come over. This stuff is saving my life. We just filmed an entire video. We got everything done today, which I feel so good about. So I need to send that over to my editor. And then I have so much stuff for the podcast. I have to prep for like six episodes next week in New York. And then I need to get all my LA recordings like scheduled, which I've been doing for like two months. But it, literally I start planning those schedulings like three or four months before I go. The house is so festive, a sneak peek we made, but it just, feels like so cute this candle we got today anthropology it smells incredible i don't know what it's named but i'll try to link it below and data was like that smells so freaking good so love that i've been editing but i want to remind you guys that i have my gift guide on a google doc it is linked on every single video and will be from here on out until christmas so you guys need good gift ideas I, it's like my biggest love language. I love gift giving. I'll have it linked below. Look at how cozy my house is right now. Oh my God, I'm dying. Finished work, I had therapy. It is now 8 p.m. I'm gonna go shower and read for the night. 10 more books or 11 more books to read in the year. I'm right on track, I'm going to do it. I have to work on this. I need to read like three books this week, so. I have all of the stuff that I've just been relying on for my voice, it's not the best. Also, this is what you have to look forward to when you get older, everyone. I'm excited about this new roller laundry basket. Only problem is that it is literally bigger than my last one. Difference is that it rolls, but I don't know how great that's gonna be because I still have to carry it down the stairs. Let's think about this stuff. Oh, much better, because then I can roll, take down, roll, 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 roll. I think I figured out my laundry dilemma. I got it on Amazon, I will link it below. I mean, it's kind of beautiful. I just came out of the shower. Fitz is just waiting for bed like this. Like, is that not the sweetest thing you've ever seen? He's waiting for me to sit next to him. Have my candle going, I'm about to read. I think it's like 9 p.m. I'm wearing my favorite Skims pajamas. I live in these. These are a size small, but I definitely prefer this medium size on me. I have those in gray, but they didn't have that. I have my glass of water, I'm gonna read. Hopefully an entire book tonight. Finished one, read another one. Also, this is like the best way to drink water. Glass straw, this glass. Like, do you guys just also get really obsessed with like glassware and straws? Guys, it's 7.45, I just got ready. Doing this thing where I put on real clothes. Here we are. Here's my outfit, my voice. Oh my God, it feels so much better. It sounds better. It doesn't sound perfect, but it sounds better. We've got a little Mr. Fitz over here. 
looking handsome as ever. This jacket is from Free People. I got it in my newly subscription. I have a Skims bodysuit on, not Skims, Spanx. These jeans, I'm honestly kind of over the asymmetrical cut. I like overwore them, but um, I mean, I like how they fit elsewhere and whatever. Then I have my boots from Sam Edelman last season. I'm gonna take the dogs out and then head to get coffee with my dad this morning. Guys, my dad showed up with old merch. So cute. I just got home, I was recording ads to send in. I'm watching Alexis and TK. Alexis is actually also coming on my podcast in January. How exciting. I came home to make myself breakfast. I was like being so great. And then I realized that I don't have bacon. And so I had to order and I had Chick-fil-A. What are you gonna do? What a beautiful treat, perks of waking up so early. So invalid. How much is this? A Rogers quote, the goodie and the thing. Seth is over making me my tea because he wants to hang out and I don't have a voice. Um, as much as possible. I'm literally gonna eat spoonfuls of that. Everyone in this vlog is gonna be so annoyed with me. Wow. Enough? Here we are. Thanks, brother Seth. Yeah, that should be good. I didn't realize this. He's literally spoon feeding me my honey. Thank you so much. I'm literally doing this as I'm texting my friends about what bars we're gonna go to tomorrow night. <laughs> and this is why, this is why I'm here. It's 3.30, I've just been working on so many upcoming podcast episodes. I planned all the New York ones and then I was doing outreach for my next LA trip. She just finished, like she doesn't need more. I have had so much honey and it has saved my voice. It's, it's better at least. Gonna go to the closet and plan out my outfits for this week. I leave for New York on Saturday. I'm gonna be gone and busy and gonna be traveling. I just need to like pack some stuff up. Seth and I might be going to Leela's for happy hour, I'm not sure. So, I need to get on that. I mentioned this before, but I'm actually working with a stylist, and she sent me all these looks for, like, as potentials, basically, for my New York trip. I mean, it's literally the best thing ever. Amazing. This is her Instagram, too, if you guys want to go follow her. I mean, she just has, like, great, like, outfit, like, inspo anyways. But, like, I am obsessed with her. If you guys want a virtual stylist, DM her. Obsessed. I've decided I'm going to replace this rack because it's about to fall over. I need one that rolls and these clothes are all going to my friend's house, but I did plan some outfits so things are pretty much good to go. It'll just be a lot easier to pack on Friday when I get back from home, I think. I think as of right now, I'm gonna go home tomorrow. My friends and I are gonna go out and then just stay home. By home, I mean McKinney. I'm like from 40 minutes north of Dallas. Stay there, do Thanksgiving there, and then come back Friday morning and then Friday, we have like a Christmas event. I need to pack, get ready, and then I leave at 4 a.m. Saturday morning. So honestly, I might go out Friday night too and just stay up and then sleep on the plane. So that's the plan as of right now. Um, but I think I'm going, this thing obviously I have to get rid of. It got ruined with water damage. And then I'm gonna get another roller rack so I can just have like outfits actually planned out and good and ready to go. Uh, like this is just not working for me. And actually start wearing cute outfits again. So. That is the plan. But um, Seth just texted me, I think we're gonna go to Leela's for happy hour. I am kinda done with work. I can just do it later and I've been waiting for something to arrive all day and it hasn't. Good morning guys, woke up early to get some work done because I'm ending my work day a little bit early and driving home tonight. I'm proud of putting together outfits, I'm just staying at home for two nights and we're gonna go out I think both nights but it's Thanksgiving obviously. I wanna talk to you guys about these by the way. I'm gonna show you some of the things I've been loving because I feel like I just haven't given you guys like much substance in the vlogs lately but I recently picked these up. My stylist Brittany sent them to me to buy like on my doc thing and 
They're from Jeffrey Campbell. They are the best boots ever. If you are a wimp with heels and you need a nice boot that you can wear at a night on the town all day, these are it. They are so beautiful. Like, look at them. They're so good. So, I'm bringing these as, like, my nice boot to wear. And then I'm obviously going to be wearing my Uggs. Don't worry about that. But I'm telling you guys right now, like, if you buy anything this winter season, these are so good. Also, my Skims long sleeves. I need every Skims color bodysuit, like, desperately. It's not even funny. It's actually something I desperately, desperately, desperately need. So, I just have the long sleeves for now. I think I'm going to wear this tonight just to get dinner with some friends from home that I've like literally known since I was probably eight when I first moved to McKinney. And then I think I'm gonna wear this sweater for Thanksgiving tomorrow, I got it from Zara. It's probably the best sweater that I own. This little chocolate brown number. I mean, it's perfect. I also have this brown puffer that I'm gonna bring. I might wear that tomorrow. I don't really know. It depends on like what everything ends up being. This is the bag that I use when I go to my mom's house though. It's like this weekender bag. The dogs are coming. We're gonna pack up. Maddie, my sister and I are driving together. So it's gonna be literally four dogs in my small car. I mean, it's like a mid-sized car, but it's not big. So here's what we have so far. I'm blasting country and, and Christmas music. It's talking to Margot about a trip to New York this weekend. Lauren's coming last minute. We're going to Luke Combs, but Mar Lauren's going Monday. I'm going Tuesday. So I'm just gonna see Lauren during the day. And then I'm also recording Monday, Tuesday. But this weekend, I'm just with Margot. I think we're gonna go shopping in the city and Whatever, so I have a lot of packing and a lot of things to do. I have clothes that I need to bring to my friend's house and drop them off today. Um, also, another thing, this, like, I don't even know, is it Loom Cube? I will try to link it below. Um, this is what we've been using to take all the Instagram photos that I've been posting lately. And then we take them on this camera, which I'm not the kind of person to, like, not take photos on an iPhone. But taking it on this camera with this light just makes your photos look incredible. I don't edit my photos at all. So it's straight up from this light. It makes your skin look beautiful. And it just makes everyone look incredible. So I'll probably also bring this. Actually, I might even bring it to Thanksgiving. But I'll bring it to Margot's, I think. Um, but yeah. I'm sorry if this is getting annoying. But I just, like, can't stop thinking about I am so happy. Like, life has truly never been better. And I know I've been talking about this so much. And it's honestly probably annoying to you guys at this point. But I just am happy. And I feel like I always talk about... When I'm like confused and lost and like 23 sucks and whatever. And I just can't get over it. Like my friends and I text every day how we are just so happy and lucky and how many good things are coming up. And I just feel like even better things are coming and I'm just so grateful. So I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you. If you're going through a hard time right now, um, just know that, I mean, I too was quite, honestly, this year there's still been a lot of like hardships. And like, re honestly, like really difficult things happening behind the scenes, but I think I've finally learned, or I'm learning how to also be like content and happy during that time and not let, what is it, what do they say? Like a sink doesn't ship, because this is so cheesy. A sink doesn't ship because, guys, a ship doesn't sink. Not a sink doesn't ship. Yeah. I don't remember, basically the sink only ships if you let the water in. And yeah, I feel like that's it. But I'm just really in a good place. And I'm very happy. And also, another thing, like, totally beside the point. A few weeks ago, and most of this year, I've been, like, so against dating. And I actually think I'm going to start dating again. Like, I've started responding to boys in my DMs and other people that have been texting me that I've just been completely ignoring. Um, I think this started because one of Dom and one of our, like, best guy friends was like, I really feel like you're going to start, like, you're going to start dating someone and that's going to be it for you, like, very soon. And... That really freaks me out, so now I'm just responding to every single person. Not because I want to be with them, but because I'm trying to prolong being with the right person, if that makes sense. So, maybe this isn't a good move, you know what I mean? But as soon as I heard that, I was like, I turn 25 next year. That's scary. And I, I don't know what it was. It's not that I'm talking to these people thinking that they're going to be the one. It's more so that I'm talking to them because I'm like, well, I have no other time to talk to them if we're also convinced I'm going to start dating someone soon. Which I don't think that I am. But just the concept of like, oh my god, I never respond to anyone. Like, I'm never going to have a time in my 20s where I've like dated and talked to people because like I don't give men attention at all. Like, unless they're like a good friend of mine, I completely ignore them. So, yeah, something I'm trying to work on. But anyways, um, today we're going to the Adolphus um, for tea. If you guys are in Dallas, it, I'm sure reservations are booked. Book it on the wait list or something. They have the holiday tea at the French Room. 
I've gone before. I went to the French room like not that long ago and it wasn't holiday themed. My grandma, my sister, technically my stepsister, and my niece are coming today. My sister and my mom are busy, so they're not going. But I'm gonna dress really preppy and get excited. Sophie's getting a little bit too old for American Girl. So I'm oop. So I'm gonna need to find a new niece so that I can go back to American Girl doll. So anyways, I'm gonna do my hair, get ready, and then I'm probably gonna give you guys a little book um, update. But I just love life. Like I'm so happy. It's so crazy and refreshing. And just like, I can't believe we're here. Like for so long I kept saying it's going to get better. And I'm finally here. I literally could cry every day. I just think about how I'm so grateful. Like, I don't even need to write a gratitude list. That's all I think about. So, anyways, I'm going to do my hair now. And stop annoying you guys. Um, but I love you. Okay. All right, guys. I just got dressed. I'm wearing this coat that I got from my newly subscription. I don't know exactly where it's from. I can look later. Or I'll tag it, actually, on my Instagram. This white top is just, like, an H&M white blouse. The skirt is Princess Polly. It's definitely super short, but whatever. Um, my Ghani rain boots, which have also been the best purchase i've gotten so much wear out of them i love them i wish that like they were bigger i always have this issue i've talked about this with boots because my calves are bigger so i can like never wear them over jeans which is like what i want to do um so i gotta figure that out but this is my outfit for tea i'm about to head off i'm meeting them there um at the adolphus so we're off <laughs> Oh, you want to show them that? What is it? <laughs> and no, it is apple cider. <laughs> You're crazy. You're so pretty, so. <laughs> You're so silky. Close your eyes. What do you Close mean? Close your eyes. Only heart. Do you have pinky promise? You can't break a pinky promise. You can't, so. No, one heart. Close your eyes. One heart. Or else I'll do the dry skin on your forehead if it's not a heart. And you have to wear it to go ice skating. What's the mask? It's not working. Right here. Oh, it's so cute. It was a heart. What were you really going to draw before I made you pinky promise? I love Kenzie. Oh, really? You're lying. Are you going to have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, my. Do you want a mic for, for Christmas? You put a mic on her list. Even a drum set. And a drum set. So when I was in fourth grade, I won Social Butterfly in the yearbook, just like you, basically. Are you sure? Yeah. What are you asking if I'm sure about? I don't know. What do you What are we What do you think we're doing now, Kenzie? You're filming for YouTube. Okay. So. It is 3:30. I planned on leaving 30 minutes ago. It's actually really hot today, but it's gonna drop to like 29 tomorrow. I need to get my outfits packed because I need to leave in like five minutes. So. All right, so this is the one I'm gonna wear. It's just what I'm wearing now. I need to tuck this in, but I just don't want it to get messed up in the drive. So this is what I'm gonna drive in. I have two coat options. I have my bag packed. I'm heading out the door. Off to home we go. This is my room for tonight. My mom got a new house. I've vlogged here before. It's very recent. I don't have a room. We just have a bunch of guest rooms, but I'm changing my purse over. I'm getting ready. It's like the night before Thanksgiving hometown bar scene and we live like 30 minutes away. So my Uber is coming soon. It's literally gonna be like 80 degrees and then the low tomorrow is 20. So I just, how do you even dress for that, you know? This is the look, I think I'm wearing Uggs. So. Good morning guys, it is Friday morning. I didn't vlog like at all when I was home. I wish I would have, honestly it was a really fun time, but it was Thanksgiving and I spent it with my friends and family. So I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Anyways, I'm driving back to the city right now. Oh, hey girl. 
Um, tomorrow morning I leave for New York at 6 a.m. My flight takes off at 6 a.m. I don't know why I booked that flight. Like, what was I thinking? I honestly have no idea the thought process behind that. Today we are going to Enchant Christmas at Fair Park. I'm really excited. I'm working with them on Instagram. I cannot take the dog seriously right now. Um, but it's our first, like, real Christmas festivity. So three of my really good friends are going with me. It's going to be very exciting this afternoon. So I need to get home. I need to do laundry. I need to pack. I'm going to do an Instagram Live with Jessa Hastings today. She's coming out with book number two in the Magnolia Parks, like, universe, which I've already read. And it is so good. I read it months ago. I honestly might reread re it on the plane. Um, I'll have that linked below if you guys are looking for good books, um, especially for the holiday season. Honestly, read those. They're just so good and they're really cool. I don't know. I'm like still in my pajamas right now and I'm stopping to get coffee. We also have a little book chat. So I'm on book 91 of 100 of 2021. I know this is going to come as a shock to you guys, but I had, I just now this week read Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights book. I bought it. I pre-ordered it. I bought the audio book. I'm like... Because I, I wanted to hear his voice and then at the end of the day like I just read off the Kindle so quick I read it in a night. It was so good. I'd already listened to like the first half of it um, But that was a few months ago. So I finished that and that was really really good I also read like a poetry book. That's not like really my thing, but I liked his other one. So I read it um, Okay, so green lights of Matthew McConaughey read I read I read inward that was really good poetry book which is not normal i finished the whole like paradise series by elin hildebrand that was good i don't think it's like a must must read but if you're like in the mood to read the series read it um boundary boss the cheat sheet sarah adams it was like such a cheesy book but it was honestly i really loved it it wasn't cheesy it was just like i don't know like a corny more like ya book best friend friend zone like that sort of thing um yeah i need to get back nine books left of 2021 to read so comment below what books i should read i'm going to meet my challenge guys 100 of the year it's so crazy how fast this has gone by because i remember making that my goal and it feels like that was like two weeks ago and now we're 91 books in i've read mainly fiction books like i just read fiction novels all the time that's mainly what i've read i've kind of been on a non-fiction kick but like not enough got my coffee my water the dogs got puppuccinos i'm currently unpacking i'm repacking doing laundry I was just gonna show you guys Fitz is laying on the bed. He doesn't want me to leave, but his favorite dog sitter is coming and he likes his dog sitter more than me. And he's honestly so tired from my parents' house because he ran away, I mean ran around, not ran away, for two days straight. Anyways, these boots, again, best boots ever. I have some outfits planned, I need to get this together. I have a lot to do today. The tub is running, I'm gonna self tan. I have um, a live I have to go on, meeting everyone at four. Um, I have some work stuff I need to do before I leave and I have no energy not even I can't even like get myself to drink this coffee I don't know guys. I just feel really out of it. Honestly, like I just am not here All right, so this is stuffed. I have some clothes that I'm bringing that Margot wants to potentially wear So she went through my Instagram and <laughs> literally sent me like Instagram posts of mine of clothes to wear so anyways, I also got um, Jackie, Claudia. Well, Jackie's not going, but I don't want Jackie to feel left out. Um, Jackie, Claudia, and Margot skims pajamas as like a thank you. Um, and then just Jackie so she doesn't feel left out. But I have all my clothes and I need to like repack these and make them look better. I was working with my stylist on some of these outfits. I'll have her Instagram below. She's the best and she's helping me with like New Year's Eve. So I just did so much shopping online really quick. I got like half of my Christmas gifts. By the way, absolutely none of this was on sale. It's Black Friday, story of my life. Um, I also got the most insane dress for New Year's Eve. I'm so excited, I'm actually going back to New York for New Year's Eve, but with friends from home. Normally when I go to New York, I'm like seeing friends there, but my friends here are going to New York for New Year's Eve. I know that's like not where you wanna be normally on New Year's Eve, but honestly, we just wanted to do it once, so. We're doing that. Um, I'm gonna meet them at Leela's at four. It's currently, what is it? I don't even know, 1.40. So I am going to finish packing, getting ready. I have a live that I have to get on at 3.30 and then I'm gonna go meet them. So we're getting pretty close. Also, by the way guys, Breadwinning Housewife merch is still available. It has sold like so freaking much. Like I'm so grateful for you guys, but we have this hat, which I got dirty, so ignore the hat. We have it in blue, we have the set, we have the tote bag. So check it out if you guys want something for the holiday season. These are the two bags I'm bringing. These are like pretty much what I always alternate between. This is my favorite perfume ever. It's so good. I cannot believe I'm almost out of it. Like that's actually insane. I just am obsessed with it. 
And yeah, it's stuffed right now, but that's because a lot of the stuff that I'm bringing, um, I'm giving away. Like, I'm not, like, obviously, like, half of that are literally the Skims pajamas. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm considering not bringing my Air Forces, but then I literally just have boots the whole weekend and, like, no sneakers to the city. But I will have my Uggs. And I'm like, I think that's okay. And honestly, if I really want to, I'll just, like, beg Mara to, to borrow shoes. So I might do that. We'll see. Can I get through the whole week with Uggs and boots? I feel like... Maybe. These boots are really comfortable. Honestly, both of these were really comfortable. Like, I'm wearing them to the city, so it's fine. All right, guys, this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing these Princess Polly jeans that I wore. They're just like the best fitting jeans. I have my Uggs on. This bodysuit is from Spanx. I just got this in the mail today. This cute little puffer, it's from Zara. So, this is the look. Um, I have this Fendi bag I wear often because it holds my vlog camera and it, um, what was I gonna say? I think I got on the real real. I can't really remember. Honestly, one of my best bag purchases I've ever made. Like this bag is just such a good one. So, oh, okay. So I'm gonna take the dogs out and then I'm picking up friends. We're going to Leela's and we're going to Enchant Christmas, which is at Fair Park. I'm working with them on Instagram, but I'm not working with them in the vlog. So I will take you guys along a little bit tonight. It is really cold in my house. I need to turn something on for the dogs. This is like proof you can take the girl out of LA, but you can't take the LA out of the girl. Getting myself juices before traveling. So have these ready. It's 9.44, I decided to be responsible and stay home tonight. Just got back from Enchant Fair Park, it was really cute. Um, I showered, I have myself tanner off now finally, and put some lotion on. I'm ready to go for the morning. I need to take these off, I always have extra like bag tags and stuff. Actually, I'll do that at the airport, but here's my stuff, pretty much ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog, stay tuned. Um, the next ones will technically be Vlogmas, kind of. Um, I'm not doing Vlogmas like daily uploads, but I will be posting like at least two. I'm going to vlog every day, but then I'll post like probably twice a week. So it'll just be longer vlogs and less of them because it just was killing me last year and all the years before that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. I'll see you guys soon. We have so many Christmas things, so many New York vlogs. You guys are really going to enjoy. So love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. He was like, well, I hate the song, but he's like real religious. And he was like, but I love you. And he was like, I just want what's best for you and all this stuff. And I was just, for me, with my story, it's really cool because here you have this song that's, you know, explicit and all this stuff. And it's funny. And it is definitely part of my personality. Like, 